Hey guys, welcome to another session of RBTL where I go over the patch notes and uh, some highlights and uh, let you guys know what I think. Uh, definitely for this one, I think there's a lot of areas where I would want some of you guys' feedback as well. Uh, just so that uh, as a collective uh, community or whatever, if uh, Smilegate or the devs take hold of this video or our thoughts, maybe, maybe they'll start working on it. Um, so first things first, I think uh, overall, the uh, the game has been doing really well this year in terms of just like new things added uh adjustments uh although some things may be slower than we wanted but uh they still delivered so i think overall i uh, i don't have any any doubt it's just that uh it's been a while since uh, guild war has uh, really had real incentive i think for guilds to really try um now obviously i can't speak for like all the top guilds um, I know like every every uh, uh, top guild uh, runs things differently. Some take it casual and they still do really well. Some are like more like hardcore, like they take notes and whatever um, and report and stuff like that. So, uh, and they all still end up around the same place. Uh, it doesn't matter which, which guild you're in or what kind of, uh, um, what kind of league you're in, in terms of like skill. I think I think it's been uh, pretty common that uh, most people are saying that the Guild War rewards are kind of a bit lacking. Um, one, it's too repetitive, and especially with the matchmaking, uh, when we suffered through uh, season two, the matchmaking in season two, especially around the top top guilds, where we face like the same guild like once every like every week, um, it got very repetitive. So like the kind of the question comes up like other than like hey let's just win you know as a guild let's just be the best outside of that there's no real incentive uh to to, to like do well and uh i again you know forgive me if i'm speaking on behalf of people who don't feel this way but uh i think this is like the general consensus regardless uh, endeavor season is the next season uh this preseason was really short it was super short um like way shorter uh so i i was almost like kind of hoping that okay okay new season announcements coming like is it gonna be some increase or rewards or maybe different rewards right uh, but we don't really see much except that we get a preview of the frames the glorious frames um we have a lot of memes going on especially with the past season uh these uh, these ones here with that uh uh <laughs> that leaf that leaf i mean the <sighs> the the blue one there and the red one there like arguably speaking out of the package is best and i i get it i get it they have to kind of scale down like you know the uh the lower tiers in order for you to want the the larger tier but it doesn't come with extra incentive like it is it is ranked one to three uh but like what's the incentive for like guild to like to stay there outside of that frame right um i do know a lot of the top players in the top guilds are kind of like dropping off either they're dropping into a more non like more chill less sweaty guilds um but still play at top level or they're like dropping down to like you know rank 100s or whatever just to just to farm mystics and when we take say farm mystics as in like you put a defense up and people just hit into a wall that kind of thing. Uh, not much else has changed. Uh, the new HP structure uh, that was launched during the preseason uh, does make Guild War a lot harder in terms of like you have less rooms to make mistake, which is good because that way uh, both sides don't just default to full clearing each other like every time. Um, but uh, rather you really have to put some effort into it. But then the question is again like, what's the point? Like what's the point? Like yeah, you get your mystics, but I mean, I don't, I don't know. I, I, I think uh, I myself, I like Guild Wars as a feature, so I'm actually okay with the rewards. Uh, in terms of like, it's very minimal, and I'm just kind of used to it. I guess that's how I would put it. I'm used to it, so I'm not complaining. It's not like they're taking anything away, but I think uh, when I'm talking about like the rewards should be increased or whatever, it's really what I've been hearing from the community. Um, as a whole, I, I hardly have actually heard anybody say that, oh, no, top guild war is fine just the way it is. We don't need an increase in reward. I think there are, there are obviously varied opinions in terms of like the 
intensity of the desire for the rewards there are like people who are just like yeah you know increased reward would be better it'll make me more incentive incentivized to play and then there's the other spectrum like the far spectrum where it's like oh my goodness man guild war is a dead feature man unless they, they give us this 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 i always try to take like the mo most like passive approach but also try to be as analytical as possible so in this case like if, if, if majority of the people that I hear from say that yeah you know an increase in reward would be helpful for this feature i really think that they should really look into it i think for arena um they've actually spent like i i would say more there's more incentive for arena because the weekly skystone you get out of it which is huge especially if you could keep uh legend or champion champion or legend uh the skystone is huge and of course every tier under you still get skystone out of it for like staying uh, in the ranks um and then now you can choose mystics and whatnot and the uh arena shop is always very important that you can keep grinding like you you get you get like new gear out of it you need the charms to enhance your gear there's slates every season um there's so much more incentive to do that but like guild awards like you can do it even at a not a top level and you can still collect all the rewards so like for example the proof of valor i guess it's appeared again um i guess it would be uh now if people who have had proof of valor before you would just get another six um that's my understanding of it and for newer players you get them now but you can get up to 12 uh which means now we don't really need to uh do what a lot of people did where you plus 27 one proof of valor and then you keep one at like plus 15 now you could just plus 30 plus 30 so apparently they're gonna return these i mean proof of valor is a really good artifact especially i do think that a lot of the things they're putting into the game is pushing for rta uh so or, or, or world arena so i think it's just like a strategic way it's almost like having like multiple portrait of savior uh like, you, you might want to have a couple heroes on Proof of Valor or whatever. But, I mean, it's a nice to have. I, I'm not complaining about this artifact returning. Um, it's just more of, like... My point is, like, the guild shop... Uh, there's not much incentive. Like, like, like I said, you could do it at a low level, and you would still be able to get the currency to eventually clear out the shop anyway. Uh, but the arena, at least because the sky stones and stuff like that, there's much more reason to... Now I'm gonna probably gonna make a separate video, uh, do it on a live stream so I get like everybody's thoughts, take some notes, and then collectively, you know, put our thoughts together in terms of like what would be, you know, I'll, I'll take like the varying degrees of the intensity I was talking about. What degree of rewards would you guys want to see in Guild War uh, as a feature for you to actually be incentivized to actually try hard? Okay. Um, now I know this is going to be like varying opinions. It's going to be a huge thing, but I would probably be interested to hear what you guys think as well. So, um, yeah, just, just check if I'm on uh, live streaming or whatever. Um, and I'll, uh, I'll label the uh, live stream that specifically, like what, what could we do for, with Guild War? Um, I think also Guild War, like new ways of playing as well. Um, not just the reward itself can make it very interesting. Like, so for example, like the World Arena duplicate class ban, like that's actually kind of cool. Um, the blind day for Arena, regular Arena, that's really cool. Um, not saying that those things can like work directly into Guild War. Like you can't just like take those features and put it into Guild War, but maybe something like that. Like, I feel like uh, if anything, Guild War is like the most community binding thing. RTA right now is a big one too, because we have content creators creating really awesome tournaments uh and then just hosting like the, the best players which the where the best players attract like all the players to come watch so in a way it's the most community building thing and i i do realize that that because because of that factor uh the global stream um the epic 7 global stream and you know other other streams um, they really focus on an rta because it really does bring a lot of people together but guild War is like a place where each guild would be able to like talk in their discord or even if you use the in-game chat which i don't suggest uh talk in discord and you kind of bond you, you become friends um and you kind of learn off each other and you build and you set goals for one another when you compare stats and builds and stuff like that so this feature really should not die and uh i really do think that they they need to put a little bit more love or some 
some brainstorm on how do they can how can they can make Guild War better. Anyways, I mean, I'll make a I'll make a direct uh, dedicated stream uh, with a dedicated video on that. Uh, but uh, hopefully, you guys as a community, uh, feel free if you're hearing at this point at this video. You know, drop your thoughts in the comments below. You know, maybe I'll, uh, I'll even read them on the stream or whatever, and uh, that will help. So yeah, if you really care, of course. If you don't care, obviously, whatever. <laughs> it is. Um, that was a long, uh, long rant. So, uh, new world arena mock battle mode added. I think this is super cool. Um, you got your standard, and you got the no duplicate classes, and uh, I think this was something that was already on my mind. I was thinking about this. Uh, not obviously not on this sense, uh, not in this sense exactly, but it's just because of me seeing a lot of a lot of people running like the uh, now commonly known as the horseman comp. So like you know you stack with like three knights and one healer or two healers, two knights or whatever, and then you just wreck face. Uh, I think with these rules implemented, and they should think about. I don't know. I, I almost almost to say I almost wanted to say like even ranked battles not just the mock battles but may, maybe not maybe not R ranked battles I guess you should have all of your uh so that was my phone <laughs> unprofessional um all of your like all of your hard work I guess available to you so maybe I won't say that here but uh, if you haven't read this uh, definitely read this um this may change in terms of uh, how people are running tournaments now as well um, because of this new uh, no duplicate class um, but yeah you see like my point standing about the guild war thing is that honestly they're putting a lot more effort into world arena which they should they should um, but it's just guild war I, I, I don't want it to die yet um, return banners um, Tywin has a new artifact uh, will this be the next meta artifact? Uh, Tywin coming back makes me tempted because I recently pulled Ambitious Tywin. Uh, Lydica coming back right now, I almost want to preemptively pull for her in case I get F Lydica, but I don't think that's as important as ML Tywin's imprints, in my opinion. In my opinion, uh, ML Tywin's uh, imprint really directly affects how much damage he does, how long he survives. So if it's for ML Tywin, that is. Um, uh, but the artifact, like, is it worth pulling for? Oh, man, I I'm kind of feeling like, man, these return, uh, banners with, like, new artifacts, man, super, super baity. Uh, although at this point of this recording, we do have a, a new hero announced. It's, um, I guess it would be, like, the pre-teaser for when they get into, uh, is it Eureka? Anyways, the people who actually know the lore would, would be able to correct me here. But uh, the dragon continent. Um, we have a little little uh, little girl. I think the name is Cho. However you want to pronounce it. Uh, I'm personally not too interested in it. Uh, whether I make a video on my th full thoughts on that hero or not, uh, I might. I don't know. I'm not quite sure. I don't feel it. I don't feel super excited about the hero. So I'm. I don't think it's a bait to pull for this artifact. Um, this artifact might be pretty good if you use it for a knight specifically an rta that counters cleave um like but you would have to really big brain into knowing which knight would have this artifact because you don't want to usually preemptively put a knight on this artifact unless you know exactly what you're getting into this may be a useful one for guild war defense and again you know i talk about guild war as a place of pvp but if Smile Gate really doesn't really improve Guild War much. All we're still gonna get is the same kind of monotonous, kind of bland. You know, like do I do I like do I even want to swap an artifact to my defense team? Like I literally know people who don't even bother swapping the artifact on the defense team because that's how little they care about the defense anymore. In top level Guild War, defense is pretty high success that the offense will win it anyway. Um, but this will uh, this will help a bit. I mean, increases the defense up to sixteen percent, uh, and then uh, this is the max enhanced version. Removes five souls from the enemy when the caster suffers an attack that targets all allies. So AOE attacks. Um, it could be good. It could be good. Um, there's no 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 doubt about it. It was the same one for the fire Cecilia. 
uh, artifact. I didn't think that was a really bad one. In fact, I actually think it was really good. I tried to pull for it, I didn't get it. So I'm, I, I don't know. I, I don't have enough to pity or whatever. And these artifacts are not limited, so I'm not gonna go full crazy on it. But uh, Tywin banner, maybe I'll pull for it. But it's the perfect time, man. I, I swear, like all these uh, return banners really help with uh, some of people's uh, ML ML pools, uh, like increase their uh, self imprints or whatever. But Tywin himself, you know, as a hero, he actually does a lot as well. But offensive fights and I would say Guild War offense, maybe arena offense at the most. RTA is harder to use him since he kind of well. No, I, 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 won't, I won't say that uh, he's he's hard to use. It's just I, I don't think any people can really fit him into a into a into a team right now uh, unless they do some big brain cleave. Um, expedition improvements. Uh, there's a lot of like UI improvements in this round. Uh, the patch notes. This is also another reason why I wanted to take it on. I definitely love this. I is way more interesting. Uh, what Smogit does do well, I would have to say, from the UI UX department is that uh, every time they have a new feature, I'm, I'm always noticing, I'm like, oh man, could you not surface that information one level sooner? So for example, this, uh, the icon with the little orange dot, at least now it actually tells you, uh, like, like there's more information on this dot now, instead of just like being there where you have to always click in and then just to check. So they always put, uh, they always improve of having one level of information before you need to press into it which is really good and this is the same thing as well showing the completed showing what's actually recruiting oh that's what the icons mean recruiting and what's in progress like that's fantastic so originally it was just like it was just the posters you have to click in in order to see what's happening now they're surfacing it again so this is a constant thing that i'm always impressed with impressed with in terms of Smile get actually delivering on the UI front, which I really care about. Um, it helps the usability so much. Um, now you can actually just adjust your teams again, again one level, one level uh, above, instead of actually going into uh, a, a fight and then changing your team there. You can actually just adjust the team here. It's fantastic, awesome stuff. Um, little icon improvements now, like stuff like this. In my personal opinion, I'm like that's not really needed. It was pretty easy to distinguish between a buff that wasn't full colored. So example, the previous column, it wasn't full colored. Any buff that was like, it, it was like easily understandable. And then now they make it like gold. I don't know. I don't know if gold helps. Like I actually, from a user experience, like a UX standpoint, I actually don't think it actually helps, but whatever they, they did it. It's fine. It's like the, uh, a long time ago, I know people were saying that the, the go arrow, you know, like when you do the adventure or whatever, and you have to like tap forward, there's that arrow that kind of like wiggles that tells you like go forward this way or whatever. Um, before they had one that actually just worked and then they changed it for some reason and it actually wasn't better. But now that we're so used to it, I can, I can almost guarantee almost no one remembers what the old arrow looks like, but <laughs> that's just me. I had to say this, um, I don't usually talk about packs or rate packs, but yeah, I mean, this is a lot better than it was before. At least you get a guaranteed five star. Um, so really what they did is I don't think it increased the actual price. So if you're a will, this only matters to you. If you're free to play, just ignore this part, but this is a limited one. So just to keep that in mind, it's a limited, um, oh, actually no, it's limited in terms of the monthly sale period. So I'm actually thinking that actually, I think. It's, yeah, it's renewed. Never mind. It's not a limited limited. Um, is it? Or have they just changed? I think they just changed it. I think they just changed it. This is a bit better. Assuming that this is the exact same price as before. Um, so uh, $50 USD. Uh, you haven't guaranteed a five star artifact it is a lot better than the way it was set up before. But because the fact that they just added a bit more value to it doesn't mean doesn't mean that the pack is actually worth it. I think it really depends on where you're in the game. Like, are you are you a whale that has everything already? Like, do you need it? I don't know. I think these kind of packs are kind of like mid mid game players who are kind of really hoping for you know more artifacts to increase their artifact roster. This pack might help, but I don't uh, I don't think so. I don't think it really really matters it really shows that it goes to show that they keep improving the values of each pack kind of salty for people who bought the packs in the past but 
I mean, you can't really complain. You, you bought it, right? This is interesting as well. The uh, Mola shop increased to uh, two Mola Gora. Now, again, this isn't a really big problem for me. I do have silver transmit stones quite often. And I think if people only stick to buying the Mola from the silver transmit stone, you should have enough. You should have enough. You don't... I don't think you need to really transmit too much. Uh, the worst case scenario is that if you transmit a three-star penguin, you do get silver transmit stone out of it. Any three-star, four-star, or higher, um, you'll get silver transmit stone out of it. So uh, it's, it's, it's not like a whale shop thing, but I have heard in the past, like especially like a newer, maybe free-to-play player, is like it was really hard for them to kind of like like get all the silver transmit just to even get the mola. Um, maybe they don't play enough. I'm not quite sure. I've never done a like a like a pure free to play perspective in terms of like how much silver transmit stone do I get every week as purely a free to play like pulling on the dailies only and not spamming covenant bookmarks or whatever not transmitting my three stars. But again, like I said, if you do your regular farming and stuff like that, even as a free to play and you have some stigma, you can you know pull for some penguins if you get three star penguins or even the three star penguins and events and stuff. I think you could get enough. So this is a good change. Overall, it's a good change. Uh, extra Mola is always better. The recent uh, friendship friendship updates were also good as well, although it takes a lot more grinding. And I will have to say this, if Smilegate, you're listening to this, or the devs, uh, definitely make it uh, so that once you reach, reach level 10 friendship, which takes a lot of energy, by the way, so it's, it's a lot of energy or a lot of time, once you reach level 10 friendship, you should be able to just get the three mola back, whether or not you have them plus 15. That's my opinion. That's my opinion. And uh, drop that comment down below as well on the YouTube if you guys agree with that. Because in my opinion, there's like a lot of heroes you don't want a plus 15, but you have level 10 friendship. So for example, Ox Lots. Like, would it not make more sense if they hit the level 10, you still get rewarded because you're using that hero a lot. And plus, if you're literally farming with them, I, someone was telling me it was like 2,500 runs. Regardless of the energy, every run gets you the exact same amount of friendship or whatever. So it could be a hunt or it could be adventure or whatever. But it's like 2,500, man. That's a ton. Um, so I don't really don't think it's broken. Once the hero hits, hits a level 10, you get three mola back. That's not a bad thing to implement, in my opinion. Um, but I think the way it works right now is that you'd still need to have a friendship level 10 uh, But plus 15 in order to return the mola back in exchange for the friendship points I think I'm pretty sure that's how it works right now If it doesn't then uh, if that's not how it works, then uh, uh, this is my bad then just skip the entire thing Otherwise, this is this is great um, They could still look into inc uh, like putting a mola once a week in other shops that don't have mola at the moment so uh, Huh, what other shops are there? Uh, the Labyrinth shop. Um, that would be nice as well. Um, but no, 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 not, not, not complaining. Honestly, the Molagora situation is a lot better now with the friendship change, getting this in here. Uh, originally, remember that I did make a video on uh, our thoughts on Mola, how they can improve it. And then Smilegate returned like two weeks later after I made a video, having the uh, two Mola packs instead. So whales are happy, I guess, but uh, everyone else is still pretty salty. <laughs> uh, so hopefully, hopefully they, they hear quick. But uh, yeah, obviously they need to do kind of internal testing and stuff. They still want to make money. So they got to have a way to time gate any free to play players, um, making them itch to buy packs or whatever. There's some some whole whole philosophy and science behind it. This is really cool as well. Hero background settings got to give it like that's awesome because Outside of the, uh, when you click that, uh, what do you call it, the uh, magnifying glass to look at them on like a, a flipped view or the vertical view of your phone. But if it's on an emulator, it's uh, it's kind of kind of crappy. Like now you can actually use the background again. And again, see, look, 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 look. Is this whole theme of, uh, whole theme of uh, them bringing up UI or accessible uh features one level earlier you see you see guys huh they're really good at this they're really good at this um this is this is definitely good i, I wasn't even thinking about this i'm pretty sure there are other people that that already thought about it it's like hey why not bring the backgrounds on this level in terms of the screen state um i this was actually take me by surprise uh but uh, definitely nice to have 
uh lobby fixed teams is cool too you could pin them to the lobby so that uh that lobby team will never change in terms of like if you if you just came from like a wyvern hunt it shows your wyvern team you go to banshee hunt it shows your banshee team you can now pin it which is cool and you can choose not to pin it so it's the same it's like an added feature that doesn't really affect much but it can be nice so that's great um hollow trials improvements as well again the same theme uh, information is now surfaced at the top level instead of you having to click into stuff and defining it. Automaton Tower, new icons added, very cool. There's other stuff, art stuff related and just usability all in general. Um, this game definitely, man, it's like, I have to say, man, like a lot, compared to a lot of gacha games, I just don't see like these kind of improvements, like little detail improvements, like as much as Epic 7 delivers. So really good job still. Um, this is fantastic. Uh, just, the, I would say just the Guild War thing. Anyways, I'll uh, make a direct, uh, dedicated video for probably what the community thinks about Guild War improvements or where they think they should, uh, Guild War should be improved. Maybe extra game modes and stuff like that. If you guys want to preemptively leave your comments in the comment section below, definitely love to read it i do read all the comments by the way just letting you guys know do read all the comments um unless it's like pure profanity or whatever <laughs> i still read it but i just i just like flag it um yeah anyways i'm gonna end this for the video recording if you guys have discord check out the discord server follow me on twitter subscribe to youtube if you haven't as always thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys next time